Yo guys, what's up? It's Aspect Line, and I'm sorry, I already made this video and I freaking messed up on it, so I have to redo it, because that's just classic me. So I've got this music playing on my phone, I don't know how loud it is, it was kind of quiet the first time I recorded it, so I turned it up a bit. So here's what we're going to do today, we're going to be showing you how to put guns into Photoshop or whatever you want, any image you want, without having to cut it out using, ah, way to go, come back, without using magnetic tool or pen or, I mean, you can use magic wand, but it, 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 gag. So, I say pen's the best if any of you want to learn. That's probably the best way to cut out stuff. But if, if you can go without cutting out, it's even better. So, what you're going to want to do, you want to go to Google, look at that, you know, aspect line, get in that ish, make sure to sub to me, because that's, that's what it's all about, boys. And so, I'm going to go to Google, and when we go to Google, we're going to search up whatever image you want. You're going to want the ballista. And so, oh, not not that ballista, ballista BO2. And then see, these will all come up. All these images, the best place to find the images are on the Call of Duty wiki because those are all PNGs. And so you can put them however you want, whatever look you want. One thing to make sure is if you notice in this picture, there is no, there's none of this. The actually, I like that. I'm gonna get that. But there's no gray and white background. So you want to make sure to have that gray and white background. That looks good too. So you want to make sure to have that gray and white background. Otherwise, it, it won't work because then you have to crop it out anyway. And no one wants to do that. So always make sure to use Call of Duty Wiki. Or I guess this works too. But these are usually the best. And so with the transparency backgrounds, that wouldn't work. So what you're going to want to do is then save the image. I already have mine saved. Right click. Save images. I have mine saved my PNG folder. And what you want to do is go back to Photoshop, open that ish up, make a document, whatever kind of document you want. I'm just going to do my 1280 by 720 just label it back because I accidentally already made the thumbnail classic me. So we're going to open up Finder, go Switch Sonic JJ Speed. Or, oh my gosh, I'm messing up. Go to PNG, find it. So here you see I've got the blister reloading, and then you're just going to want to drag that ish in. Uh, it's a little grainy right now, but that's because you haven't placed it yet. Make it however you want. I'm going to make mine like that. I'm going to place it. Voila, you see it clears out a bit. Looks nice and good. I can change the background. I can change everything behind it. So I use the gradient tool on this. Boom. Doesn't change the background of it. So that's all you need to do. Put those in. If you guys want to see more of these in the future, tell me because I know they're not the best videos. I'll have better cut comms coming out. But I needed a video today because no y'all are missing me. No, not really. I probably use code line for 5% off Clarks. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't like, subscribe. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And yeah, make sure to sub. We're at 239. Let's hit 250, 300 soon. Get to 300 real quick, boys. And YouTube, we'll see you later.